Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at Architectural Ceramics or Architessa for your tile stream. This is your tile talk with Jenny, and I'm here today to bring you Travis from Landmark. So thank you for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So guys, we're going to be talking um, about exterior tile. Very exciting because I know like the last few months, last few years, actually, I've been seeing a lot of uptake in exterior um, tile projects. So doing your pool patios, um, your fire, fireplace, uh, exterior fireplaces, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, again, mostly the pools for, for me. Um, I've done a lot of fun stuff out there. And mostly over this last year, dealing with COVID and whatnot, everyone wants to be indoors and outdoors in their own bubble. So doing these outdoor spaces has just gotten huge. And so Travis, I am yeah. so glad that you have the porcelain veneers to talk to us about. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, to your point, Jenny, you know, uh, right now uh, with everybody working from home, it certainly seems just a small walk to the backyard is, is quite the vacation. So people are wanting that that look continuity in and out. And we've seen a lot of increases um, in raw materials building costs, especially for, for builders, multifamily and single family, mm -hmm. just skyrocketed. And that's kind of one of the one of the reasons that led, I think, you and I to this conversation today is to let people know there's there, there's definitely some options that are gonna outperform some of the existing standards that have been out there, but for, for a considerably less price point. Yeah, no, definitely. And for us, I mean, having that price point change, you need cost savings wherever you can. Um, I think you had mentioned to me about lumber costs. So if you've got that, yeah, screen, I can show, show you a, us. Yeah, I can show you a slide real quick if you'd like. It's not yeah, problem. please. Do the me talking, talking specific is not so good. Yeah, so this is actually uh, from the National Association of Home Builders. Um, and there's a couple different charts out there you can find, but um, I don't like to read verbatim, but this is pretty powerful. So I'll real, I will read this one verbatim. Um, the recent spike in softwood lumber prices has caused the average price of an average new single family home to increase by $16,000 since April 17th. Similarly, you know, the price of a new average multifamily home has increased by 6,100. Now, here's the caveat to that. So we see price increase in home, but what we're not seeing is the adjustment for the increase on this graph. So if you see here at the bottom of this graph, um, you know, we'll, we'll go from, let's just go from January because that makes more sense. Let's not go from the start of COVID. But you can see that builders on, Lumber and synthetic boards were, were sitting there somewhere around that $375 to $400 per thousand foot of board, per thousand board foot, okay? Now, we saw it drop off at the year end because we know that, but this is a spike showing you in October. That number has approached almost $900 per thousand board feet. So what we're sitting at right now, in essence, is about a 40% increase in just lumber. Well, that, that's not translating to the cost of the houses. Even though the houses are rising, the cost, of, that's not translating out. So now these builders are forced in budgets that they're stuck in, that they've already been given out for price ranges for a given neighborhood. So it's very important that we give them some new finishes that are going to kind of offset some of that budget for them. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Sorry, that was my long-winded version of, hey, prices are rising. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's getting expensive out there, yeah. <laughs> so much just going on again i mean even again covid and and bringing the tariffs materials come if, one thing if you guys don't already know about landmark they're actually a u.s manufactured um company so they have porcelains made in-house in tennessee so for us i just love that they're around the corner they ship locally across the globe um through us here at architectural ceramics um architessa it's gonna be hard for me getting used to saying architectural versus architectural ceramics. So hooray for the new company name. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But um. But yeah, to your point, Jenny. Yeah, we're seeing uh, overseas costs. You know, especially Europe. Uh, natural gas, which we use to heat our kilns over there. Uh, you know, that that cost has gone through the roof. Just basic cost of living has has risen. Then on top of that, the euro has taken over the dollar by a pretty pretty hefty amount. So. What we're seeing is a, is a pretty large increase in cost from Italian or European brought materials. So we are starting to see uh, that American flag on the side of the box show value and discount on price. So you know, something to think no, about. No, we love that. We, we thoroughly enjoy that. Supporting U.S., supporting U.S. people having jobs. I mean, it's such a, it, supporting our community at the end of the day. So I love that part. Um, well, let's take a look at some images then of these veneers. Yeah, for sure. 
see if I can get my computer to work for you. So Thank um, you. <clears throat> in the veneers, uh, real quick, just so we're clear, um, they are six inch by 24 inch panels. Okay, so you get a lot of square footage laying us an individual panel. Um, the looks are fantastic. And we'll get into that a little bit. A uh, couple things just to be clear, uh, we'll go into the uh, installs later, but we are looking at four pounds per square foot. So that is one of the lightest materials we can have. Um, again, it is porcelain. So what do we know about porcelain, especially for exterior we like to talk about? They, yeah. don't, they don't stain, right? Stain resistant, salt resistant, acid resistant, thermal shock resistant, all those great performance benefits that we see out of porcelain, but now they look like natural stone. So we get the warmth and, and texture that we weren't able to get with porcelain before, now we're able to offer that. So no, um, and these veneers I find so great because they coordinate also with your exterior pavers from your Frontier series. So correct. I like that wall and floor, the colors are going to coordinate. They all go well together. And then also that Frontier series coordinates within your interior tiles. So we're talking about doing the whole home. And again, everyone is in their houses looking at their four walls going, what can I do to make this better? And I like that this is the complete package and they all go together. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, and one of the things I like to talk about, especially when like you and I work on commercial stuff together, um, you know, it's nice to talk to an architect and say, listen, now with the continuity in and out, and that's something we preach heavily at Landmark, you know, we can go from the lobby to the breezeway all the way out to the garden, you know, and, and, and up the walls. So if you're looking for that coordination of color, but variation of texture and look, you know, this, you know, Landmark's where to be at right now. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. this is Bluestone. Um, in the upper top left, you've got Bluestone Full Color, uh, on the right, Bluestone Select, and then on the bottom, Bluestone uh, Tumble, and there's pavers that coordinate. So you can always hit those color palettes, as you know, and I'll show you a couple others, you know, and we don't call them out by the same name, and that's one thing we just don't do intentionally because it kind of pigeonholes us, but um, all of these that you see, the quartz is, uh, the sandstones, they all have matching colors. And what I like about it, especially when you start looking at some of these multicolor mixes that you see, especially on, the, on this screen here, we have multiple colors that mix. So if you're, if you're wanting a hue of gray, but you want a white floor, we can certainly go that direction. Or if you're just wanting a gray floor and the walls to pick up, you know, some different tones of, of grays or whites, you can play around with that a lot. So it gives you a lot more flexibility than just going, hey, this is blue and this is blue, put them together, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, we like the flexibility and in terms of what the colors are moving forward, we're seeing a lot of those creams and whites moving forward anyways, and they pair really well because of the blend in those colors, they pair well with the grays if the gray is what we want. So I like that flexibility. Absolutely. Um, and we do have, you know, again, uh, regardless of what you're looking for, but this, this, and one thing I skipped over, this is the pro ledge. Um, so this is, again, like you and I said earlier, a stacked stone not having grout lines, which is not something we've been used to hearing being from porcelain uh, all these years is that, you know, we always have a grout line. You don't have to have a grout line with this and we actually don't recommend it. So this is just tight stack. So on the install for, for the look, first of all, it's, it's an amazing look for the installer themselves uh, because it's so versatile and you don't have to go back, your, your install time goes down quite a bit. It drops right through the floor as far as the, the time on job with the stuff. That's awesome. And what I remember, what I really like about this series, this veneer series, is that you have coordinating corner pieces, which yes. I know for our installers, they are always coming to me, hey, Jenny, with the natural stone, which, mind you, I absolutely love the natural stone, installed correctly, it's going to look incredible. Um, but a lot of times, newer installers, they don't know how to adjust those corners and how to install them correctly. This right here would be a great answer to them, because these corner pieces just make the install so much easier. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, as you said, we do two systems for corners. Uh, one's called the smart corner system. And then one is your traditional corner system. Uh, the smart corner system, which is probably the one that I like the most, it's the most cost effective, first of all. Um, it's by no means is it in it, you know, is it, is it a cheap product? It's just cost effective, which is a nice way to say that. But what we do is we take two panels. And as you can see, we cut them and miter them from the factory. And then we package those two panels together. Now we're showing it on brick here and brick world is part of our veneers, but you can imagine, and let me just not get too crazy. You can imagine in this picture here, as we see, as we have a pattern of natural stone coming, it's very important that when we cut that, it's made from the same piece. That way it matches up and it doesn't look that, it doesn't look like it's been forced. So, and simply put, this is a really easy way 
And unfortunately, the truth of the matter is a lot of times when we get onto a job site these days, a 90 degree corner isn't actually 90 degrees. And to your point, uh, you know, a lot of installers more seasoned might be able to manage that. However, oh, yeah. it makes it a lot easier to have two pieces that you can just kind of blend in and you can touch the pieces or you can actually uh, leave the grout line and point in, and point in mortar. Uh, it's up to you. No, but these these are going to be a lifesaver for some guys. And again, what is it, the left and the right corner? Well, yeah. So the great part about it is we don't need a left and a right corner because okay, cool. it goes one way. But um, you know, we do them with brick, but we do the we do the solid corner as well, which is a lot of people do want that uh, just because they don't have the two pieces. I, I would prefer, I, and I was installer. I was a hardscape installer, so I did natural stone work, brick work, all that stuff. Um, I would do the small thing if it were me, just based on ease of use, and it's pretty. I think tough. that's awesome for sure, absolutely. And you know, the other thing too is when I show you some of these pictures, I'm trying not to scroll too far back. This is a quarry stone. So this is more of what we call a half or a proof full profile. So it's got grout lines and whatnot in it. Um, heavier, more exposed grout lines. Um, it's very rustic in feel, I think. And we only did a few colors. But the one thing I want to recommend to you and to, I'm trying not to scroll too fast and I apologize. Um, I want to recommend to, to your team and anybody interested in looking at these, this material, don't just get one piece. Getting one six inch by 24 inch piece of our veneers really doesn't do, doesn't tell the story. Get, you know, samples are free for us. You know, we just ask that you pay the sample, you pay the freight. So um, get four or five pieces, get, you know, 10, 12 square feet to really tell the story. And yeah. let me explain to you what I mean by that. Let's get to the signature wall. So you hold one six inch by 24 inch piece, you don't really, you say, okay, it looks like a nice piece of porcelain veneer. <laughs> when this stuff goes up in field, what happens is it takes on a whole new form and feel and function. And it's breathtaking. And everybody that's actually taken this material and laid more than three pieces out at a time has called me and said, you know, and I got, I actually got this from one of your employees. I really didn't like it at first, but once I saw five or six pieces, it looks great. So definitely sample it out in, in multiple pieces. At a time. No, it's just like with natural stone, you want to get several pieces, lay them all out, blend them and see the whole picture because, and that's why I like this porcelain option. It definitely gives that feel of natural stone. Yeah, and you know, to your point about the natural stone, one of the things we do uh, at Landmark is we typically have more faces than <laughs> most other manufacturers. Um, and I don't know what the count is on our faces, but what I can tell you is <clears throat> that I've installed now or been on the job being and installed myself and been with contractors on around 10 or 12 different projects right now. And I've yet to be able to find another face that looked like another face. I mean, I've yet to be able to see a rep, a repetition yet in this, in any of this. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, if you're going to mimic natural stone, <laughs> natural stone never does, never repeats itself very rarely yeah. anyway. So we need to do the same thing. So we do really good about not having a repetition of work. Yeah, no, that wall looks awesome. Um, and I know we were also talking about, I mean, keep on going with the walls. I think we had spoken earlier about how we can do commercial walls with these um, and the installation. There's so many different ways of installing, yeah. again, beyond my pay grade, but I know that's up your alley. Yeah, and you keep me on time on this, Jenny, because, you know, I can go for hours with just yapping. Um, so with the four pounds per square foot, one of the nice things is, you know, the, the, the max, I think, for national building standards is like 15 pounds. At four pounds, we really don't have a whole lot of need for tiebacks, lentils, and things of that nature. And I've got uh, some nice, well, let me just stop real quick. Before I get to that, you and I are talking about blending bluestones, colors, and textures. Just to give you an idea, this is all a match. This is bluestone on this wall, bluestone on the bench, bluestone cobble on the floor, and a bluestone fire pit. And you can see, it doesn't look like a repetition. It just looks like a nice matching coordinated area. The whole That's the looks you can really provide. That's all bluestone right there. I mean, I think if you looked at most people and said, I want to do your entire room, your floors, your benches, your walls, yeah. all out of bluestone, they'd be like, I don't know. That's a lot of repetition. But this is the design effect that we can get. No, and that's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I mean go ahead with this exterior wall um, installation because then I want to talk about how pools because I like that we can tie it all together. Go ahead. Yeah, so, you know, this is really, we talk about porcelain, especially porcelain outdoor being uh, 
so capable, so adaptive to, to whatever need you want. Really, this takes it to a whole nother level with the veneers. Um, so we have applications here to show you on a wood frame, on a concrete masonry unit or a CMU. Also goes the same for poured in place concrete walls. Uh, but this is just typically what we would see is, you know, a waterproof, some lath, a scratch coat, mortar bed, and then the tile, okay? Uh, with the CMU, it's simply just the wall, throw down some, throw down some, uh, I'm blanking here, stucco or mortar, put the tile right on top, I'm sorry. But then metal frame, rigid foam, it's super adaptive. So as a matter of fact, we don't show it in most of our drawings, but there are some applications where it can be put up with an adhesive. It doesn't have to use traditional grout. So if you're doing, if you're a landscape contractor and you're doing an outdoor patio with a fireplace and a backsplash, and you know your guys like, ah, I've got some nice adhesive here. You can just take a sawtooth trowel, throw the adhesive across the back, and put this stuff up because it's so light. So now that's I don't awesome. I mean, for any of the installers and any of you guys, contractors, people who want to install this outside, if you have any questions about any of the terms that that Travis is using, message us, let us know, and I'm happy to get you some backup information because I know for me, scratch coat, I vaguely know, but I know that's 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 a little bit more detailed for another day, but you guys message us, let us know if you have questions on those things. Keep Absolutely. on going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so again, just to the point, you know, it's extremely uh, adaptive to the project. You know, if you're doing natural stone, you're talking about probably an employee that works for that company or the, the owner of that company that has gone down the journeyman's trade, you know, they're, they're, not they're not cheap per hour, right? This stuff is very, very easy to set. We're not worried about spacing. We're not worried about grout lines. We're just throwing it up, touching on this. So you, can, you don't necessarily have to have the most expensive employee on the job site putting this up. That being said, I know you mentioned something about a pool. That is yes. a spill wall for a pool. So you can see yeah, there's a hot tub here. It's gonna flow over. So they did the entire wall out of, uh, that's ridge black if I recall correctly, um, out of our black tile. You know, veneer just and it's going to spill right over the top so there's it's very that's adaptive awesome. to what we need to do and that's another thing like kind of like the, the where i want to sum up is that because we're all home looking at our four walls indoors and outdoors we want to make it all work for us a lot of people are adding a lot of pools these days um and i know you're you're in north carolina so you guys are probably going to be start doing pools now but people are going to be not starting exterior pool work in this i'm in the northeast i'm actually right outside dc um and so we here in the Northeast, we're not going to start doing pools and, and digging out for them until like you, you were saying late March. So right now is a good time to start, start specifying the tiles for those exterior spaces because the great thing with Landmark, with their exterior pavers, because we have the whole kit and poodle, they can also make um, coping and drains and all of those things, all those bits and pieces are, are it's fantastic that they can actually match the tile that you have installed. Um, and there it, it's made to order. So it's gonna fit to match your job. Um, but if we're planning for it now, ordering now so that we can go ahead and get started with your pool mid-March, late March, April, whenever you want to do it, but give us some time and we can have it made, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, to your point too, Jenny, what we've seen, uh, which kind of surprised me, one of our top sellers across the country is Bluestone or modeled, it's modeled after Pennsylvania Bluestone. Which is and gorgeous. <laughs> really didn't think it was going to sell all that much, say in the upper Northwest or, you know, down in Florida. And what we're finding out is it was availability and freight costs that were just like, people just couldn't get it. So now yeah. we're finding, like, to your point, people are really bored with the things that have been used, concrete pavers, you know, cast in place concrete material. People are bored with those looks and textures. Now with porcelain and the design and the technology that we have, we can put any graphic you want on it. So you can be in central Texas and put a look that you could never get from, you know, anywhere in your uh, immediate area just due to freight. You can now get looks from the Northwest. From India, from you know wherever you can get a lot of different looks with porcelain. So start exploring, you know, the different options that we have in the design process. We're not just stuck to just what we have anymore within a local region. No, and again, those veneers and even the pavers, they do look very true to the actual stone. So say you are installing or your guys already acquired real blue stone for your project. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic to then use this as a wall accent. It will still coordinate and it's gonna look beautiful. Um, so there's lots of ways to tie in all the bits and pieces, um, but I love that you guys have the full package. You can do all the trim pieces, which to me is such a detail. That's why I love working here at Architectural Ceramics is that, Architessa, is that we have 
we have the vendors that give us all the trims and pieces that you don't find everywhere else. So having, having you guys as a resource is so fabulous for us. So thank you, Travis. Thank you for taking okay. the time okay. and explaining. And again, any of you contractors, even homeowners, if you want to know more about what Travis was talking about, send us a message, let us know. Um, and we're happy to answer all your questions or visit a showroom. We're in Rockville, Maryland. We're in Bethesda. We're in Baltimore. We're in Vienna and in Alexandria. So hit us up. <laughs> and that's it. That is your title talk with Ginny. Thank you again, Travis at Landmark. This has been super. Maybe we'll do another Thank one you. soon. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ginny. Anytime. See ya. Bye.